Hello, my name's Eleanor and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the Centre for Metabolism, Ageing and Physiology at the University of Nottingham. In our paper, we aim to determine the loading-specific response of vastus lateralis motor unit features using intramuscular and high-density surface electromyography before and after a functional stepping task. This task employed bilateral concentric and eccentric contractions performed to exhaustion. The motor unit describes the motor neuron, all associated neuromuscular junctions and the muscle fibres it supplies. It is a key component involved in the control of muscle force production through altering recruitment and firing properties. But previous research demonstrates mixed findings on changes in motor unit properties following performance fatigue where muscle force output is reduced and this may depend on the mode of contraction undertaken. We found that motor unit features respond to fatigue in a contraction-dependent manner. Despite similar reductions in strength after fatiguing exercise, motor unit firing rate responded opposingly following concentric and eccentric contractions. These findings were also replicated when directly tracking a subset of identified motor units before and after exercise. Using needle electrodes inserted into the muscle during contractions, we found that transmission instability at the neuromuscular junction increased following both modes of exercise. This means communication between the nerve and muscle became more variable following exercise. We also analysed features of the motor unit potentials representing fibre membrane excitability and found they were only altered following the more metabolically demanding concentric loading. Differences in the motor unit responses to concentric and eccentric fatigue are important when considering exercise training protocols, particularly in populations with musculoskeletal limitations. This has implications for interventional strategies aimed at targeting neural input and motor unit function. This may also have translational relevance when understanding conditions such as sarcopenia and cancer where exercise tolerance due to muscle fatigue and weakness present a challenge.